Singapore Art Week will showcase the best of Southeast Asian art to the world as part of its blended format this year. The event kicks off today and will run until the end of this month. One of the highlights, this ceramics exhibition put together by 19 Singapore-based artists. The public will get to explore different techniques behind these pieces through live demonstrations as well as performances. And in line with the festival theme, Art Takes Over, works by artists local and from abroad will be brought to more unconventional public spaces and neighborhoods, including Bras Basa Complex and even bus stops. Well, for more, we're joined by Tae Tong, Director, National Arts Council, and Jason Lim. He's Artistic Director and Co-Curator for the Ceramics Exhibition. Good evening, gentlemen. Jason, you're the curator of the Ceramic Art Good Exhibition. Evening. Good evening. So this Ceramics Exhibition, it's called Singapore Ceramics Now 2021. It's at Gilman Barracks. What kinds of ceramics can we expect to see, and how are we going to tell them apart? Um... There, there are as many forms and shapes in this exhibition as to how, as to the types of ceramics that we have. Um, we have in this uh, exhibition monumental scale sculptures to intimate size work and um, traditionally fired wood works to slip cast porcelain and also have like sound installation, audience participation installation and including also figurative sculptures. So there's quite a huge range, huge range of uh, ceramic types, and this mainly comes from the uh, the curatorial process, which we try to be as as uh, inclusive as possible with our selection of artists. So the artists are coming from very different cultural background, cross generational, and also from very different kind of um, education background as well. And Jason, there's also going to be live performances we understand involving ceramics. Uh, what do you mean by that, and what are the stories you're hoping to tell? Yeah, one of the performances um, involved a kind of a tea appreciation, performative kind of a work. And in this uh, tea performance, uh, it's entitled Shaman Tea Room. It's uh, created by a duo, uh, I, Fu Ai Wei and Ken Lee. Um, in this performance, it's about um, the practice of mindfulness through tea drinking and the objective is to draw the audience away from distraction and to arrive at the present, being present at, at, the, at the time of appreciating tea. And the artists are, hope, are hoping that with this practice of mindfulness, um, we can apply that to everything we do in our daily routine. Um, on, and then there's this other, other performance next weekend is um, uh, performed by our local band, the observatory. Um, uh, for the observatory, the title of the performance is called Empty Vessels, but actually I was talking to them, they mentioned that, oh, actually we do not have a very specific narrative to our performance. Uh, it will be mainly improvisational, but of course in their, in their improvisational methods, they, are, are, they were saying that um, a few of the factors that influences them in the improvisation would be like the presence of, and, and, and energy of the art of the audience um, on site, and also perhaps influenced by the artworks that's in the surrounding uh, in the gallery space. Taitong, a, a significant portion of the artwork, mm. it's going to less conventional venues. What does this mean for the public and for the artists? That's right. Yeah. Oh well, what did well, first of all, thank you for having us at uh, the Singapore Arts Week and tonight, uh, and thank you. Um, so, you know, we are kind of like sticking to the theme, you know, art takes over. So basically what it means for the audience is that, you know, they will be able to encounter art um, in the more, less conventional spaces, outside galleries, outside white cubes. So what we see here, for example, is bus stop art which basically art is being posted a lot on bus stop along the bus route of 175. So if you take 175, um, uh, the bus, you'll be, and if you drop along the way, you'll be encountering art. Um, at the same time, mm, we are moving into state of motion. The state of motion is oh, takes over the entire um, office building in Marina One. And we have a very interesting, uh, actually, collaboration between creatives and brands 
um, in the middle, in the right smack in the city at Funan. And what it means is that um, we have creatives working with brands to develop new products. Um, they take over stores. Um, and the idea of Art Takes Over is really to bring art closer to the people um, and into their everyday life. And I think what it means for the artist is that, hey, it's another great way um, to stretch my creativity, to stretch my artistry. Um, and also, for example, um, this year we have done 14 commissions of pub new public artworks um, that we will, that you know, the public can enjoy in six different national parks. Um, and there's more, of course. Um, and what we wanted to do very much with uh, Art Takeover Singapore Art Week 2021 is to demystify the idea of what art is, what art can be. Um, we very much want people to begin to encounter art, first of all, uh, and slowly appreciate art, and perhaps later on develop a much more uh, deep relationship with art and maybe even become collectors. Well, we wish you all the best with the event and art taking over the island of Singapore. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time this evening. Well, thank you. Thank you. We've been speaking there to Tay Tong, Director, much. National Arts Council, and Jason Lim, the Artistic Director and Co-Curator of the Ceramics Exhibition at Singapore Ceramics Now 2021.